10.1.3 wastewater treatment. I'd like to possibly suggest that this is one of the worst taught topics because the experts of this aren't teachers. This has been brought in new to the specification and the people who work in water treatment talk with passion about all the steps that are involved in the process. But you, this is what you need to know. First of all, wastewater treatment requires Wastewater requires treatment before it's passed into the environment. If it's not, then there could be high levels of harmful chemicals or harmful organic matter that goes back in there or even microbes into the water supply. So industry produces a large amount of waste that must be treated. So sewage and agricultural waste, that produces a certain type of waste. It produces organic matter, but also harmful microbes that need dealing with. The other side is industrial waste water may require removal of organic matter and harmful chemicals that have been used in the industrial process. Four steps that you need to know about in terms of turning waste water into potable water, water that we could at least treat for it to be drinkable. The first one is this, screening and grit removal. This is where the large pieces of waste are removed initially and it's called screening and grit removal. The second step involves sedimentation. That's where we allow it to settle and we get the smaller elements of, uh, that are solid that settle at the bottom and that gives us a, sl sl a sewage sludge. Try to say that uh, without your teeth in. Sewage sludge. And that's the small, uh, small solid particles that, that form that need removing. The other part of that is called the effluent, which is the liquid waste. So sedimentation separates the sewage sludge from the effluent waste. The sewage sludge is then treated. It's digested actually anaerobically, that means without oxygen, by microbes. And that will allow it to break down the, the organic matter and make it less harmful. The other part, the last one, step four, is where the effluent is treated. That's treated aerobically by bacteria to reduce solid waste. Consider then the role of bacteria. Think about what your understanding of bacteria, what they are and what they do, and realize that they play an important role in the wastewater treatment process um, in terms of agricultural and industrial waste. Guys, that's not an easy topic to get your head around, but, but make sure you go back and watch that video again and have a go at answering some questions about it to make sure you know 10.1.3 about wastewater treatment.